Hello, hello, welcome back to Fluid Powder TV. My name is Rose and we're doing a speed build for my Forest of Valor layout. A lot of you on TikTok were wondering how I did it and since it's always better to show and not tell, well, I'm gonna do both. Go grab your coziest drink and let me talk to you through this build. I'm not sure what it is about being creative that feels so fulfilling, but maybe it's creating something that has your own unique style. Even if it's been done before, each rendition has a different spin. I go to Pinterest a lot and I look at photos of real life places or gardens and I take inspiration from that. The peaceful meadow I had a few weeks ago before I so graciously tore it down was inspired by a Greek garden. I honestly feel that when Disney Dreamlight introduces Hercules and Meg, the items that we're gonna get, it's gonna be so out of this world. I'm excited just thinking of it. I know technically we have items from the Hercules category, however I wouldn't put it past them to add more, especially since we already have Meg's dress. Don't believe I purchased that though because the avatar didn't look good with it on in my opinion. I feel that Meg's actual character will look better than what they provided to us. I find it silly how some of the villagers look like they came straight from the films and somehow some of the princesses don't look their best. Anyway, I digress. The best way for me to figure out what I'm doing in any biome is to first make an outline for where I want the pavement because if I do the pavement first it'll look like a giant square with no flavor, no character, and no thought put into the design. Every time they add a new fountain I want to do a completely new fountain park and to be honest I don't even remember where I got the idea but I'm so glad that I did. Maybe in the future they will add more colored shrubs to the land. I get tired of the forest of valor bush. I always say it feels illegal to use shrubs shrubs from different biomes, but it does help to bring color across the valley. I feel the shrub for the sunlit plateau looks a bit faded in color. It would be nice if they add some saturation to it like the other ones from the same biome. Those have a darker tint to them that I prefer. I really wanted the Forest of Valor to feel like the Beast Castle was towering across the village and even though the actual size is not lifelike, I hope it still gives that effect. I purposely placed the houses across the way in this square to feel like a little village. I think the only thing I'm missing is Lady Tremaine's house and maybe more cottages too to give it that cottage village feel where you can actually walk through. I'm just working with what I have at the moment. It works for me. I think the hardest thing about doing a build in any biome for me is finding how to make the cozy cottage core happen. This is the first cozy game I've ever played in my life and I started over a year ago so I have 1200 hours in Disney Dreamlight and I feel like it's well worth it. I feel like the time I've put into the game has definitely been worth it. I haven't explored more cozy games besides Wildflowers. There's one I'm really excited to share with you. It's called Rolling Hills. I do have a video on that if you're interested. I really wanted to play Animal Crossing and I realized that I don't have a Switch. I didn't realize Animal Crossing was only available on the Switch so I was really bummed out to, to know that I couldn't play that. I like the animation style for Animal Crossing. I think it's really cute. I'm going to let you continue on with the build. I think I've done enough yapping for today. Thank you so much for being with me. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'll be back at the end to say goodbye.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you were able to follow along and build with me. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps out the channel. Consider subscribing for more builds like this. I encourage you to look through my page. I'm positive you'll find something that you like. This is Flu Powder TV signing off.